Bonomo Turkish Taffy, an iconic candy long thought to be extinct. But now there's some shattering news. Bonomo is back, touting its unique texture with the motto, smack it, crack it. Crack it up. Major crackage, dude. At the World Candy Factory in York, Pennsylvania, they make 38,000 Turkish taffy bars and 215,000 individual pieces in a day in all the original flavors, including the popular tropical banana. Not too bad considering that for decades, Bonomo was nothing more than a sweet memory. The bartender behind Bonomo's unprecedented comeback is lawyer turned retropreneur, Kenny Weeson. What makes the Bonomo Turkish taffy so different? Well, it was the first interactive candy. You smacked it and cracked it. It was like playing the game. I was a big fan of Bonomo Turkish Taffy, and just like the other fans, I really mourned the loss of it, and I decided to do something about it and bring it back. Would you say that the Bonomo Turkish Taffy that you're making now is the same as the Turkish Taffy that you had as a kid? We have Bonomo spot on, right down to its actual label. To get cracking on my own bunch of banana bars, I'm meeting up with retro candy ace, Rich Worrell. Now the flavor, you're gonna smell the aroma coming out of that bad boy. Mmm. Yeah. Reminds me of my last trip to Kokomo. After mixing, the vibrant tropical taffy takes a ride on the cooling wheel. This is amazing, it's like gold ribbon. Next, we bring the warm taffy to the forming room. At this point, most taffies would be formed into smaller pieces to be sold by the pound. Bonomo breaks that rule, too, forming their Turkish taffy in a full-size candy bar. Oh, yes. This is a very large banana. I would imagine it would make a very large monkey very happy. The ripe banana takes a spin on a batch roller that squeezes it into a one-inch rope. Now, what forms it into the actual bar form? This final roller flattens it out, and then it's going to go through a rotator cutter. Yeah, these bars are good to go, but they're not crackable yet. No, not yet. We have to wrap it. We have to cool it first. You see how stretchy it is? That's not smackable. It is inside the wrapper that the banana taffy cools to its joyously crackable state. You need to be brought into the fold of how to properly enjoy a piece of Bonomo turkey taffy. The rookie mistake, Adam, is to open it before you crack it. Smack it, see what happens. Smack it, crack it. Oh! Where did all my taffy go? The veterans follow the instructions. Take them in the palm of your hand, just like the instructions say. Much better. Now you have a way to eat it without getting mess all over the table, your floor, your car. You pop the taffy in your mouth, and then it starts to warm up, melt, and all the banana flavors release, and it's this super creamy, chewy piece of taffy. It's like a tropical banana milkshake. This candy defies all laws of physics. It starts off as like a hard candy, and then it kind of melts in your mouth. When you close your eyes, where does that flavor transport you? Jamaica. Bonomo also makes Turkish taffy in bite-sized pieces. And to do this, they employ one of the oldest candy-making devices known to man, gravity. Bye, taffy. After 10 minutes, the strawberry taffy emerges from the tube one floor below. The force of gravity reduces the candy to a rope just three inches wide. From there, these vertical sizing wheels will do the rest, feeding it in to get cut and wrapped. Adam, what we have here is the candy coming in the rope right into the wrapper. These machines run six or 800 pieces per minute. Now, how do these pieces differ from the bar shape that we were making before? They're just designed to be enjoyed as a soft chew. See, right away, that is soft and elastic. That's great. The whipped egg whites give it that great strawberry flavor, but the creaminess, too. It's got awesome texture. Tastes like a strawberry creamsicle. Few candies have undergone such an epic struggle for survival. But thanks to the persistence of a dedicated entrepreneur and the clamor of tropical candy lovers everywhere, Turkish Taffy is back.